there is so much to tell. Where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company, who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti-Shinra rebels, Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex-soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor 1. In Sector 8, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled Promised Land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Assuming troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was Destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken had all been as the Whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the Whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. The fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began.
I'm waiting, clown. All right, then. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's cool. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then, and the little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. A mission with Zephyr. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Sorry. No can do. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on a mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first. What do they do? Call a ceasefire with Wutai. Stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. <sighs> Fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some feats in our 12! Let's go. He was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain, only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. 
The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Sweet home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father... Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off-duty till sundown. Backwater is an understatement. Don't blame you for getting the hell out of here. They got anything worth eating? So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away, and all that. Uh-huh. Can only imagine what their lives must be like. Hmm. Hmm. A soldier. Then you are? Richard Sangan. A humble traveler of the world. And teacher of martial arts to the youth. Mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. 
<laughs> Should you need my help, just say the word. Ah, hello there. All our rooms are reserved for you Shinra boys, so take your pick. You'll find them just up. Huh? No. Cloud? My, my. Get a load of you. And you've only been away a couple of years. Traveling with the Sephiroth now? Okay, Mr. Big Shot. Our village is truly in your debt. Shinra's here, I see. Thank you for coming. You're Shinra? Shinra? Oh, whoops. I didn't recognize you, Cloud. How you've grown. I must say, you look dashing in that uniform. You're so cool. You're so cool. You're just... You look so different. You a soldier? You a shoulder? Gonna beat those monsters? Gonna beat them? If anyone on the survey team is feeling hungry, be sure to stop by. We Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Look over here! Sephiroth's in there right now. Would kill for a shot of him. But I should probably wait till later, huh? Mind asking Sephiroth to come out? Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth! He's a chatterbox, we know. Everyone, please. I'm eager to talk to him too, but now's not the time. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Huh? You went to my place? I figured you might be there. Everyone, please calm down. Remember my cat? Her name was Fluffy, I think. Yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. your idea of joke? I'm not laughing. Yeah, me neither. Come on, Cloud. I know you better than this. I know I shouldn't have. Did you actually play it? Wow! Where'd you learn to do that? Hey, you gotta play for us sometime. Well, shit! You're a merc of many talents! I'm eager to talk to him too. Now's not the time. That sword's huge! Can I touch it?
You worked out with everyone? Just for a bit. Could you keep up? I'd like to see how soldiers keep in shape. Well, finally. Soon these troubles will be a thing of the past. Then I stop by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time, and last. Hmm? I'll be right there. <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but... It's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? That most it's of them had to do with you. Totally delighted by his greatness. And we get to see what he looks like. Do our village proud. Oh, I'll be telling everyone how I welcome the great Sephiroth to town till the day I die. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What are you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right. Will do. Night. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited. Too... nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> I 
We leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir. I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't... Dad! Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin! Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It means a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were. Later. For a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. You probably already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. <laughs> Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips? I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. <laughs> yes, you really are the best there is. near the village and they're not nice what do you think I think I got this then they're all yours copy that <laughs> <laughs> Finish this. That was awesome. You think? If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? <laughs> Don't mind if I do.
Iron Soldier? You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> you better. Cool. See ya at the reactor. a while ago. Come on back, okay? Okay. through a Shinra facility. To think I almost made you our guide. Good thing I'd reconsidered. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Lead on. Yes!
finish this. about crossing that thing then let me go first hey I'm the guide here in fate's hands now.
Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well, we certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. Mako Spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Mm -hmm. To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo from research and development. His predecessor was a great man, but him, he is anything but. We should press on.
one felt pretty good. I'm excited. 
I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. civilians, even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. <sighs> you better keep me safe. I really wanted to see the reactor. <sighs> Would it kill this guy to say something? Didn't expect it to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last gen models. Then let me guess pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. Say a few words to your sword first.
really something. What are those things? Genova? Wasn't that... What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators. Cages for animals. Infused with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Subjects. Look. Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going.
I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? Looking for Sephiroth? He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air? So, how was the reactor? Did you find out what was wrong with it? Hmm, Sephiroth. Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. Don't know what B got in his bonnet. But the man was not in a good mood. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town. And older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? But if he's sick, he needs our help. Him? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. Too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. from a 2,000-year-old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. M-E-G-L 77-1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, M-E-G-L 913-1977. Genova Project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. It. He stayed holed up in the basement, reading, reading, like a man possessed. Got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. Ah, 
cloud, I've come across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name, and so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment! He created you? I should go. Mother is waiting. Keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come to sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What? Hey, you! Get in there! The villagers need your help! Watch out!
Please be okay. Sephiroth. Get you up. that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. You should get yourself a reading! Well, Red, how do we look? Huh? <clears throat> it's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia! <laughs> Don't misunderstand. You'll need a way home. So when you're ready, I'll be here. You said that Sephiroth is your foe. 
I have a history with him. With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Those we hate, those we love, those we fear. Genova would become anyone to fool her prey. Don't do this! But I'm no fool. Here. Take it. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. The reunion. When spite and sorrow are harvested. To feed the planet.